Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer and welcome back to another video and today I want to talk about combat in Civilization 6 and it gets really freaking boring. Like, I get bored of Civ because of the combat, right? Like, it's fine building up your cities, right? And having your just different metas, right? Commercial hubs, culture centers, production, you know, you, you pick your thing and build. When it comes to combat, man, combat sucks so much, dude. It's it's like, can we make it any more boring? Like, I guess if we took out ranged units, it'd get even more boring, right? But it's like, combat for every civilization, except for the naval ones, which the naval ones add, like, nothing, right? They just have navy artillery. Like, it's the same, like... Like, march with melee troops and some range in the back and burn cities down, right? Like, the AI doesn't make it good. The AI is also pretty dumb when it comes to combat regardless, so I don't even want to get into that. But, like, everyone has the same unit set. Why? Everyone should have different unit sets. This is my opinion, okay? Because let's think about this for a second, okay? You have, let's talk about the ancient era. Okay, and civilization does this a little bit. The Carthaginians fought differently than the Romans, who fought differently than the Sumerians, who fought differently than the Babylonians, who fought differently than the Chinese, who fought differently than the Native Americans. Okay? Why is it that everyone has warriors that do exactly the same thing? Why? I don't know why this is, okay? Like... There should be, like, different different things, okay? Like, I want, I wish they would balance the metas. So, like, okay, take, for instance, the Romans, okay? The Romans, like, took over the Mediterranean. So the legions should get a, like, this is my, this is my opinion. The legions should get bonuses in Mediterranean-style terrain, right? Like, talking... Forests and peninsulas. Or maybe they just get an overall bonus. Because they're Romans and they're OP. But then, like, look at England, right? England has a ship advantage. That's great. They should also have, like, coastal fighting advantages. Island fighting advantages. And suck in the desert. Because the people are from the ocean, you know? Or from the, yeah, the English Isles. The English Isles. Or whatever they call it in the world. The UK. You guys know what I'm talking about. And, like, the Scandinavians should get bonuses in cold climate, right? The Russians should get bonuses in the cold climate. So just take the climate, for example, and make it affect your combat beyond just, oh, they're on top of a hill, they get a defense advantage. They're in a forest, they get a defense advantage. You're crossing a river. You're fighting a capital city, right? Like, there should be more to it, right? And different, like... I like the unique unit system, right? But why isn't there more? Like, if you're Japan, let's take Japan for example. You should have this technology, like ironworking, right? If you d develop ironworking, everything that uses a sword past ironworking should have some kind of advantage because they have a freaking katana. And a katana, like, let's take the katana does a lot of damage if you don't have any armor on. It just does, right? Like, so you should get a combat advantage with the katana. If you're someone from, like, the medieval European place, you should get advantages against armored units, right? If you're um, the Native Americans, you know, even though they didn't have horses until the Americans brought them over, they were freaking good at riding horses. You should get bunch of advantages for for using horsemen man like a lot so i just think that like i love the mongolians as a civilization because the mongolians like you should be using cavalry if you're the mongolians right you get an advantage when you build stables you get you get the whole um you can what is it called if you link up a non-combat unit they get a, the movement bonus to the cavalry the cavalry can like capture enemy cavalry like that 
is how every civilization, when it comes to combat, even if it's like Gandhi, who shouldn't be at combat at all, if it's Gandhi or Mongolia, right? That's like the whole polar opposites. Everyone should have combat styles that affect how they play the game. It just, that should happen, in my opinion. And how you would make that work and be fun at the same time, I have no idea. Like, I'm not a game designer. <laughs> but I can tell you that, let's look at StarCraft, okay? StarCraft has three distinct civilizations you play as. The Zerg, the Terran, and the Protoss. Each have a different style of gameplay, and it makes them fun to play against, right? Yeah, it's just... It's just the way things are, you know? And uh, another great example is this game called The Settlers 4. Long time ago, it was a game where there wasn't a lot of metaing going on, but, like, it was a simple game, but, like, there's things like, if you picked the... There's Vikings, Mayans, and Romans. The Vikings used um, more wood. The Mayans used more stone. The Romans were balanced. And all of their priests did different things. That was really it for the meta. But still. And they, had, I think the boats were different too. But yeah, so just... <laughs> there's my little rant. I wish that combat is boring because everyone, especially in the modern age, everyone fights exactly the same. So, that's really it, guys. Uh, that's me complaining about combat you know and i wish it was more 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 dynamic more unique you know so let me know what you think about in the comments below guys uh that's it subscribe for more uh videos on civ 6 i'm pacific casual gamer i suck just as bad as you do and video games and i will see you in the next episode stream vlog or instagram post of whatever i said to make